Hi, so I've been banging on about the key to generation being speed. You want a good generation? Get yourself a motor that's got a high speed, high voltage, so that your volt per RPM is high, and then you're going to get some good generation. And of course, when you're thinking about speed, you're thinking about these things, or at least I am. What this is, is a drone motor. It is, in fact, a cordless brush DC drone motor, and inside it looks like this. What you might notice is there's no iron core, so that copper basket is really light, it's really easy to get to speed, and it spins really quickly. These things are sort of 25,000, 48,000 RPM, which is crazy when you think about it. Now, if we stick a propeller on that and put some energy down there, of course, it's going to spin quite quickly. But a propeller is very little more than a device for pushing air. If we blow air over the propeller, we'll cause the propeller to spin and we should get some generation out of this. So let's set that up and do it. Okay, it's on the meter, no load condition. It's DC because it's a commutated motor and we're gonna see what we can get out of it using a hairdryer. One point two volts. That's kind of cool. It does about ten milliamps actually, and that is cool. It does make you think about these things a bit more. Now, if you really want something out of this, what we're going to have to do is gear it. Okay, this is a kid's toy actually. Uh, I'm not sure what the gear ratio is, but there's a little gearbox. There's the drive wheel that goes to the outside of the little toy, and right there is our cordless motor. So the aim here is to spin that wheel up, use the gears to give a good ratio on that, so we get that spinning quickly and see what we can get out of it. Okay, so I've closed it up and I've attached a light bulb to it, which is right there. And I'm gonna spin it up and hold it against the wheel and we'll see if we can light that light bulb. Okay, to me that was hilarious because we used that, which you can probably barely even see, to generate usable power. I mean, it lit that lamp no problem at all. And that's got to be the world's smallest usable generator. I mean, isn't that incredible, really? It's amazing what you can do. And like I say, I think it's because it's down to volts per RPM, bit of gear in, and speed, speed, speed. Get some and speed in there, and I think you're going to get some useful generation. Anyway. That is how to make the world's tiniest working generator. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.